Hey everybody, welcome back to Johnson's Garage. Today we're doing some nerdy stuff. Because if I don't do this, um, well, I just won't be making any more videos. Um, so this is my computer that I use to uh, play video games on and also edit the uh, YouTube videos. And I've used this computer, uh, actually I should give you history on it. I built it back in, uh, I think it was 2013. Or 20, I think uh, 2014. No, it was definitely 2013. I built this during my uh, days at Solar World on a budget. Um, I did it on the uh, AMD platform, and uh, as you can see, we're continuing on with that because the value f to performance uh, with the AMD stuff uh, makes it hard for me to go to Intel. Plus, I worked for Intel, and uh, I don't care for Intel, so. We're going to uh, build another AMD system. Um, I've had pretty good luck with them. This one has lasted a long time. First one I got was bad out of the box. Um, but this one has been pretty good. And I got an FX, AMD FX8350 in there. And it's been pretty good up until now. Now it's starting to kind of lock up once in a while. And everything else in this computer is getting kind of outdated. Uh, mostly with the brains of the operation, which we're going to get into here in a minute. And some of you guys are probably going to be like, not really understanding what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to kind of explain just the basics of the computer. We'll open this up and uh, I'll show you the insides of how this one's built. This one I'm going to clean up a little bit. I don't think I have my wiring all neat as I want. And that's another problem I will explain here in a moment, because we're also in the coronial times, coronavirus times. I call it the coronial times. Um, I was able to get this motherboard CPU. Um, I just ordered my memory, uh, a new water cooling kit, which I think will just barely fit up top here. I'll, I'll uh, explain some more of that here in a bit. Um, and then, let's see, what was the other part that I ordered? Um, there's a USB board. Because I'm losing... Anyways, I'm not going to explain that. I, there's a add-on card that I bought to go with all this. Um, so, I've had... Uh, there's a couple of different cases that I really want. And one of them I was going to get a new, you know, a new thing. It's built a whole new computer. Um, but all the cases are sold out. They're on either on back order or they're sold out. Um, I was going to order a power supply, but the one that I had picked out is just sold out or back ordered. So... There's a couple of things we'll probably wait on. So the case and power supply be uh, those two items that we'll wait on. We'll order those later when they come in back into uh, circulation. For right now, I don't mind this case. It's actually pretty good still, and it you know it doesn't look terribly old. You know some old computer builds if you use a really cheap case like back in the 90s, it gets that nicotine Manila whatever color. Now that's why I buy black. Anyways, let's get in here and I'll show you what my computer looks like on the inside. And all the screws have already been out because I've been tinkering with this thing. So, in this computer, you're going to laugh. So, I used to go to a place called Fry's Electronics um, to get uh, computer parts. They are kind of on the... <laughs> they're on the downhill. So, I've been getting everything from a place called Newegg.com. And when I built this computer, I used Fry's because that's they had all the computer stuff except for when I went to get memory. Memory here. This is Intel certified memory. Maybe that's my problem. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, what a joke. Only 8 gigabytes. It's uh, kind of lackluster. Uh, but anyways, I, I had to, like this case, I didn't really want this case. I wanted a completely different case. Uh, they didn't have it. So I went with this one, and this one was the best one I liked, or the one I liked out of the bunch, so I just went with it. Um, it's had some upgrades over the years. I have, I've upgraded to, I've upgraded the video card twice. Um, this is a newer power supply. I think I upgraded this when I went to a newer video card. Uh, just a 750 watt. I wanted to get an 850, um, just to, I always, up the amperage, the uh, wattage every time I get a new uh, power supply or build a new computer or upgrade something. But 
you guys are probably wondering, you know, hey, we don't really know what's going on here, so let me explain to you this computer setup here. So first of all, a computer is kind of like the human body, mostly in the brain department. So, um, so your well, let's just say that the head of your body, your skull, is this board you see back here that everything, everything's attached to. This is called the motherboard. And then what attaches to it is the CPU, central processing unit. That's the, the processor or the brain. That's the brain of the operations. It controls and does all the uh, processing of different functions and programs and all kinds of uh, fancy stuff. Um, memory or RAM, random access memory. This is kind of like your short term memory. In fact, we can go ahead and pop one of these out and I'll show you one because I've already uh, decommissioned this thing. We're going to start tearing it apart and rebuild it. This is what memory looks like, random access memory. This is basically like uh, short-term memory. You know, all your um, recent thoughts and things that you're doing right now <clears throat> happen in this. Uh, hard drives, which are these two right here, um, these are kind of like your uh, long-term memory. This is where all your memories from the past and decades get stored and saved. So I got to get some hardware. That's why I wanted to get a new case. I'm missing some stuff. <laughs> Maybe we could just rob it back from these hard drives here. <clears throat> um, that'd be fine. So. And then you have the video card. This is a video card. This is like your eyeballs. This is where you, your vision comes through. Um, hearing and all that through the sound card. It's built into this motherboard. Um, and then, you know, as far as getting fed, your mouth hole is a DVD drive. Now that all comes in through an IV known as the internet. Um, and then your power supply is kind of like the heart. This supplies the blood flow to all the extremities, um, storage, your your brain, short-term memory, all that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, so that's kind of my version of, you know, how the computer works or, you know, how to explain what's what. Um, <clears throat> so what I want to do, I need to keep track of time because we're leaving a... Uh, in about an hour. We got an hour to work on this. Um, so first of all, on this computer, I've made several upgrades. I told you about the power supply. This video card um, is pretty up to date in it. This thing is awesome. It's a NVIDIA GTX 980 uh, SC, so it's probably super clocked. It's overclocked versus its normal uh, running rate. <laughs> um, but uh, this thing, I, I can play Grand Theft Auto V in Ultra, and it's fine. Um, but it's I've had I've removed one hard drive out of here. It kind of went bad. It, so I had six terabytes of hard drive space here. Um, but right now I've got four, and it's almost taken up. I'll have to get some new drives. So I've got uh, two of the two two terabyte hard drives, and then I've got a. One terabyte SSD, which runs all my video games, and um, now I'm storing my video, raw video on it. Soon that'll change and go to a big drive. Um, and then I have a, just a 250 gig SSD. This runs my video editing programs. And then the 500 gig I have up here runs my operating system. And boy, let me tell you what, after going to that, this thing was fast. And this computer is still pretty fast. Um, but when it comes to video editing now, it's getting kind of, it's getting kind of slow. So my wiring's not too bad. Some of the stuff goes up through the back. Um, it's not too bad in here. You like to keep this area uh, free of cables and whatnot. Um, I'm going to do this up a little bit differently this time and just kind of clean it up a little bit. But yeah, it looks like two of my harnesses come up this way. I want to have the other one go in the back, but... Um, I think what we're going to do is kind of just go ahead and take this apart and um, really all we need to get our focus is in this 
area. We need to get this water cooler out um, because I have a new one. There's a new one that's going in here and I think it'll just barely fit up here. This DVD drive I'm going to get rid of and see if I've got another one of these panels laying around. Um, if not, that'll just be kind of open until we get a new case. So, yeah, let's um, get this stuff out. Let's start with uh, the video gardener. We probably won't take the power supply out completely. Actually, we might. That'll give us some more room and we need to clean and stuff. And this power supply should be cleaned too. Um, so let's see. All my screws are on the back side. The really annoying thing about my new motherboard that I got, which I'll get into here in a moment, um, it is um, missing two ports. Ooh, I actually have a plug-in for the, I've never been able to use this. There's a top panel here for um, USB stuff. Ooh, my new motherboard has a plug-in for that. Okay, I'll explain it. I'm all excited. I'm gonna have a lot more USB ports than I had hoped for. Okay, let's get this water cooler out of here. So I have a little plug in here. This is just power for the, the deal. We'll unplug this little wire that's up here. This is just the uh, water pump turn on, I think. And then unplug fan one, unplug fan two. That can all stay, get this USB out of here. Um, okay, we need a screwdriver. Let's see, a screwdriver? Is there a screwdriver that's arrived somewhere? That'll work. I've been really excited to finally build a new computer. I'm still annoyed that I have to wait on a case. Um, but whatever so far I think I'm just barely a grand into this build and I basically have enough to well because since I'm reusing um, <laughs> if you think about it I'm reusing another uh, what do you figure another eight hundred dollars worth of stuff I mean hard drives two hard drives that's almost 200 bucks power supplies uh, at least 150 video cards 300 I got three SSDs here. There's probably about 500 bucks right there. Um, yeah, I'm using a lot of stuff. It's fairly new. These two uh, hard disk drives are going to get gone. And you're like, what's SSD? Solid state disk. An SSD drive, which is much smaller than one of these hard drives here, um, it has no moving parts in it. Which is nice because it technically should last a lot longer. You know, I'm wondering if this will fit my new motherboard because the uh, attachment here looks oddly similar. Huh. Here's my water cooler. Let's see, we'll save this one. Really, this is the only hardware that you need off of it. This thing needs to be cleaned. It's a... Uh, yeah, it needs a date with the air compressor. It's not too bad on that side because that's where it draws air from, but... You can see... Probably it's... Got some schmoo in there. We'll just... Set that aside. We're going to be on a new cooler. That one's still good. That one works great. I'll probably... Um... reuse it. I do want to make some kind of support. Some kind of adjustable rod that we maybe attach to this plastic cover and it goes to the bottom and it just holds it up because this is one thing about these big video cards is they are kind of hard on things. Let's go ahead and get the video card out of here. One big thing to note is that you really should have like a wrist strap on but I don't I've never used those I just I always try to stay touching or stay uh, 
in contact with the case, or before I touch any electronical part, I touch the case, and I've had pretty good luck with that so far. Okay. It's a huge video card. Not too dirty. These fans only come on um, when, when in use. So when the computer's naturally running, just idling, they're never on. I get this out of here. Get that out of here. We're going to redo all our SATA connections. Um, yeah, so. I don't know which one's which here. Huh. I think I had the hard drive in the first slot. That is six gigs. So these are still good, but I'll probably end up putting um, some new ones in. I know what my OS drive is, so what we do when we get the new motherboard set up, I'm going to put that one on the very first SATA port. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? It's USB. Oh, that's for the card reader. We're going to be not plugging the card reader in. We'll probably get rid of that. I think I'm missing all these panels. I'll have to go look. USB. Oh, this USB is for the, uh, this is for the water cooler. Set that aside. HD audio. That was for oh the front of the case. Yeah, that's right. So we got USB. This USB is for the front panel over here, which my uh, mouse and keyboard are plugged into. Is that the plug for? No, that plugs into an actual plastic thing. Okay, this is front control panel, the lights and whatnot. My front radiator fan, or front intake fan. I have mine set up where I have one intake fan, and then there's um, the two CPU fans exit all the air out of the case. Um, seems to work all right. I haven't had any cooling problems. I mean, I'll be playing my game, and the only thing hot is the video card. Can you guys see all right? Maybe I'll move you over. Luckily this power supply I have here has a lot of connections. The main reason why I wanted to get a new one um, is so that I can uh, get one that's called modular and those um, you can plug in the harnesses that you need rather than um, you know, being forced to uh, just deal with, um, you know, all the extra crap. I can't see what I'm doing back here, so I'm just guessing. And then get that SATA plug. We're going to reroute all of our stuff. And I think I've got two new cables, two new of these in my box. So we're going to swap that out. We're going to be getting rid of this DVD drive, so we don't really need this yellow one anymore. I think one of these blue ones was from like a Dell or something. It's way too long. Um, let's see. I'm not too worried about the stuff in the back just yet. We're going to reorganize that later. Yeah, so I think this guy... Just tuck that up there. Yeah, I've got three SSD drives in this freaking computer. They're nice though, man. They save me so much time waiting for the computer to, you know, turn on. Got some screws in the top. This stuff hasn't been apart since. Yeah, I think it was end of 2012. Sometime in 2012, I. 
work some overtime and um, well, I didn't pay rent at the time, uh -huh. so I you know, went and picked up a bunch of stuff to build a new computer. I think at the time I had used stuff from my old computer, so I just went off of that for a little bit and then slowly upgraded other things along the way. It's kind of usually what I do, reuse what's still good and then, you know, gradually upgrade the reused stuff to new. I think that's called building a computer when you're poor. All right, that's got our old AMD in there. This, I think that water cooler will work with uh, the new setup here. Right. Ooh, much lighter. Let's take a look at the new motherboard. <laughs> All right. So this is it. MSI, what are we? Uh, I don't even know anymore. I forget it. Can't even close it. MSI B450. I paid 104 bucks for this. Which, of course, after I do that, I realize I've lost two um, USB ports on this. But, you see this guy right here? This big plug right here, well this um, goes to the top of my computer case. I actually have a harness that plugs in there. I've never been able to plug it in. Now I can, so I'll have two on the top, I'll have two on the front, six in the back, and then there's an add-on card I'm gonna put in here that will get me four more USB 3.0 high-speed ports. So I'll be set on the USB ports, um, but we didn't lose SATA ports, so our hard drive connections, we still got uh, six SATA ports, so that's good. Um, the neat thing about this board is it's got this little mini PCI Express connection here. Um, you, they make hard drives that actually click in here and then they mount to the standoff. I'm going to be getting one of those and moving my operating system to that. Um, that'll easily be... Uh, how much faster would that be? I mean, it's... I'm going to say 100% faster, but that's not accurate, but it's way faster than the standard SSD. So, what do we want to do? Let's put the CPU in. So here's our AMD CPU. God, this is so fun. I have an actual workbench with lights to do this. So in here is the air cooler. I'll show you what that one looks like. We're not using that because we're going right to water cooling because we're smart. We'll get a new case sticker. I'll probably save that and put it on later. Um, I like to put my stickers on my cases. I know it seems silly, but that's why I like to do it. I might even just not even buy a computer case, to be honest. I'll see if I can find face plates for that somewhere in my room. If I got them, we'll put them in. Um, yeah, here's our processor. I, this is normally $400. This is the Ryzen 7 3800X. Newegg had it listed for $400, but they had a sale and I got it for $339. Um, I just went ahead and did it. Thankfully, I was in a position where I could because sometimes you, you go to order something and or want to order something, but you don't have enough money to do it right away. And when you do have the money, it's not on sale. Okay, so this has a little dot. There's a little gold dot somewhere right here. You probably can't see it. Usually, that indicates um, where to stuff the thing. And it should look... I think you should be able to read it. No, it was sideways. Yeah. So let's see. This arrow should be pointing up. Let's see if it drops in. It does. Will it drop in the other way? No. Close it. Uh, 
I'm gonna make sure it sits in there hundred percent flat. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're gonna set this stuff here aside. Let's see what time are we? Oh, we're almost running out of time. Okay, power supplies out. Not too bad in the fuzziest department. Just some cat hair. I went with, I have an old MSI board and now I have a new MSI board. So something that, just a random thought, I looked up there's a website called passmark.com and they give you processor hardware benchmarks. My old processor scores somewhere around 5,000 points. This new one that I got scores, I think it was about 26,000 points. It's basically like going from a, a 300 straight six to a 10,000 horsepower funny car engine. So let's see. Like that. So make sure I don't have, okay. Any extra standouts that don't need to be there. Oh, sorry tubes, you're in my way. So we'll do something like that and we'll put a new. Screw in and we'll lock her in. It kind of hangs it and we can put our other screws in. Looks like, oh, I need to move two of them, three of them. So that one's good, that one's good, that one's good. This one's okay. Uh, we're okay there, we're okay there. It, or it looks like we need two more. How much bigger is this board? Just a little bit bigger. Okay, I'll have to get some standoffs. Uh, it doesn't appear this comes with any, so we'll have to come back in here. Maybe when we get the power supply and take everything back out, we'll deal with that then. This water cooler stuff, um, it's worth having. And get a kit with this brand or like a Cooler Mast or something. Don't get any of the off-brand ones. I don't, well, I don't really trust them that much. I just had really good luck with this one. Oh yeah, I'm getting a little plugged up there. Let's uh, grab the air and see if we got anything. Okay. Oh, yeah. While we're at it, let's uh, blow out our 980 GTX. I 
I just barbecued. Uh, key thing with these, you want to look at your D DC output for your amperage. Um, this 12 volt rail puts out 60 amps. That's going to be the one that runs the uh, video card and other accessories. Um, so this one, I wasn't really able to get a new power supply. Oh, actually, there's a few in stock, but um, they're just a little out of my price range. Um, and yet, I'm the guy that spends $140 on uh, fans. All right, tubes. Hope the lens is nice and clear. I just uh, <clears throat> cleaned this camera. I only got four hours of sleep. <laughs> I don't know if it sounds like it, but I just woke up, saw my notification that my stuff is here, and uh, well, sleep is for quitters. Let's uh use a dirty steak knife here and cut this shit open. This should be everything here that we need to get this computer back up and running. Took them forever to send get to send this out. So here's our other our add on card. Um, I don't have I don't have any four pin on my power supply, so we'll put this in, but we'll um, <clears throat> come to that later. Here's our RAM. Here's our hard drive um, that we're going to install on the uh, motherboard. This is where Windows is going to run on this when I get done with it. And then. Be it. <clears throat> ah, and my thermal paste. I got two tubes of it. You don't need two tubes, but I uh, ordered it just to keep in stock. So I got new fans. What should we do first? Deal with that last. Um, should we look at this guy? Let's look at this guy. I think I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit closer. This is one of the benefits of working night shift. I really only need four hours of sleep, usually. I don't work Saturday night, so when I come home Saturday morning, I'm sleeping until I wake up. <laughs> but the other thing is, I would normally be at work right now. It's about noon. And I would have $500 worth of stuff just sitting on my doorstep until I get home. <clears throat> so, anyways, I'm also crazy. So, I believe the screw for this, there's a screw that this holds this down. It's in my motherboard box, and I'll need to go <laughs> grab it. Look at that thing. It's teeny. How do you? Yeah, there we go. Wow. This freaking guy. I don't know if you uh, are supposed to take that sticker off. Because. Hmm. The only reason why I question that is because there are like heat sink kits that you can get for these, which I'm going to get one. Um, I just don't know if I'm supposed to take that sticker off. So I'll say That's not very helpful. Memory. 
<clears throat> so I got a, uh, each stick here is eight gigabytes. I got four of them and that gives us 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and it's, um, the tops of them are lit up so they'll have a lighting effect. Um, I didn't really need that but I felt that it would look kind of cool on the computer so. Let's bling it up a little bit. <clears throat> I literally got right out of bed. Got dressed, used the bathroom, grabbed this and came out here. Oh, look at that. Two packs. The important part about when you get RAM, if you have a motherboard that supports, let's say, eight memory sticks, you're going to want to get a kit, like I did here, where... Um, the kit is meant to fill what you have in the motherboard. So, because you want all these to match. So they're, they're, you know, made in a grouping. They have matching numbers and the batch should be roughly the same age because something could change. You could get one of these and maybe the next one you'll get will have the same part number, but there could be a slight variation and you don't want those variations um, in your RAM because sometimes the computer um, <laughs> straight up freak out about it so and I've had that happen so that's a thing so we'll pop these out here in a second and we'll throw those throw those puppies in um, really the RAM is what stopped me from uh, running my computer all right, so this was a little expensive. Um, your, you know, PWM fans, fans are kind of expensive anyways. They're usually about 40 bucks a piece. Good ones are. These are good ones, so guess what? They're 40 bucks a piece. Um, but they also come with a controller, which I'm not sure I'm gonna use. And it's mostly just to control the lighting. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using that. I think what I'm going to do is um, just I'm going to plug these right into the motherboard and uh, let them do whatever. Um, but we'll see. Um, I could change that at any time. They got a couple of different. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I thought the uh, the hub was what plugs into your fan but that's not the case I was wrong so I retract what I just said here's what we're gonna do uh, let's see we got two different leads here oh, yeah this is the one that goes to the lighting thing okay never mind so this will go to our and here's a hub for the lighting and then this this guy right here this plugs into our motherboard okay never mind we're gonna roll with that, so we'll got we'll go that one there, and then these are all the same. I like the backs of them. The backs of them look kind of cool because this one here, well, the front of it, we got the front of it right here is gonna be right in there like that, right in like that. Let's take a look at our hub here. So this comes with, oh nice, comes with extra screws. Um, it uses a SATA plug, I still got plenty of SATA to plug into. And I can actually plug this in because I have an extra USB port. Um, at the bottom of my motherboard, so that works out. <laughs> you got any stickers? I'll set all this paperwork to the side. Yeah, so we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this guy. Because we will want to actually hook that up. And I kinda, all the ancillary stuff, I'm trying to stick with Corsair. 
just for the sake of having kind of a matching, I don't know, it probably really doesn't matter, but Corsair stuff usually has kind of one level of quality and it's, you know, decent. Everything's consistent. And then you got this guy, this little Chinese bastard. We'll see if this even works. I probably don't even need this actually. Touch the case of the computer. Yeah, this would be kind of neat. But it seems to me that it will need this four pin. Um, we'll probably put it in anyways and see if it works. Oh, these are nice. Very nice. Okay, they go in a certain way. Probably going to be something like that. Push them in until they click. Thirty-two gigabytes here. You can act there's some other boards will support up to 128. Those are motherboards with dual quad channel. I mean that's that's just awesome. In this case, I only need you know, this is overkill for what I need. Um, eight gigabytes was, so it was okay. It did the job, but having 32, you know, I'll, uh, I'll never need RAM again. Just like that, just go until they click. It's nice, we're gonna have a fan right here um, which will be good because that'll draw air right across the RAM. Uh, definitely, definitely. Need that. Okay, that one's in. Um, okay, so one thing I'm noticing here, I was thinking, oh no, I don't have a part for this. Um, this little standoff which is loose. Um, we'll probably have to move that down. So we'll take our little SSD here. This is tiny. And let's see, where do we need it? That standoff needs to go one down. Got a cross point end on it. Can I? Give that a little tweak. And then this thing. Okay, I can touch it. There's nothing goofy going on here. That clicks in. Okay. This is where we need that screw. Guys, I'm way too excited. Let's see what this. Oh, I need a smaller screwdriver. Do my hacky. Okay. That'll do. This barely fits with this DVD drive in the way. Okay, I think I got it. 
I'm actually going to take the other wire and stuff it back there because I'm going to come back and loop it right in. Okay, so this piece goes in like that. We want something like that. And what I'm doing here is I want my want my wiring to be up a little bit and then go straight out. So I got it orient, orientated like this. I could have put bigger fans in here, but 120s have been fine. It, this computer actually only had one intake, and then the CPU cooler was actually the exhaust. And you know that actually worked out pretty well. <clears throat> This will be our intake. I'll draw fresh air in. <clears throat> and then uh, everything else will exit fan or exit exhausted air out. Put a little tension on it and then there you go. So that's that one. Now let's think of doing one on the bottom here. The wiring for that can go back there. So what I'm worried about is, you know, stuff hitting it. But it seems to clear, and if we hear it, then we know. So, let's see. We got some Arctic Silver, high density polysynthetic silver. That's pretty much all they had at Newegg. Let's just. I think what I'll do is I'm going to do like a, a little zigzag here. back on the front will keep the top from come off like it is so the game plan you have to excuse the air conditioner I got that on because it's warm out game plan is to get this thing fired up see what happens, see what lets the smoke out. Take this off for now. Uh, we'll just power it on and see what happens. Power supply is on. It is now. Should we, should we do it?
did. Oh, there. That's working. CPU fans running at full, full chooch. RAM looks cool. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? Um, our RAM is actually running kind of what it's supposed to be running. For whatever reason, the old setup I could not get it to run uh, at its you know, factory speed. Uh, memory, storage. So, Toshiba, this would have been my old OS drive, so that's in the right spot. This is the programs drive. That's for games. I am missing a hard drive. Okay, just working through some issues. Ah, there goes my audio. Got all the drivers installed. Um, so, my water cooler, I had a little issue with that. And I'm not sure, I think the pump's working. I thought it wasn't at first, but I think my problem is I might have put too much thermal paste on. Um, it looks like it made pretty good contact across the whole CPU. But I think I probably had too much on there, so what I'll do is I'll wipe it all off. I'll put a very thin coating on there, like the lightest coating, and then we'll try that again. For right now, the uh, factory water or air cooler is working pretty good. Um, the other problem I'm having with this motherboard is that little SSD that we put in the uh, um, slot on the motherboard. Well, I'm learning that when you do that, it disables the other two SATA ports. Um, five and six on this motherboard, so that's why, well, you guys don't know yet, but I was not seeing two of my hard drives, or one of them. Um, so my solution to that is I'm going to get a, another add-on card that has a bunch of SATA ports in there, and I'll run my junk drives on that. All the other high-speed stuff that um, has a lot of active data will be pulled from the uh, regular uh, motherboard uh, connections, but we won't be able to use 5 and 6. On the other hand though, it loads up pretty fast. Um, I'm going to actually copy my operating system drive and uh, I'm going to clone it to that SSD that's on the motherboard and then uh, that'll free up a spot and I can plug my other junk drive, junk drive in and then uh, should be good to go so that means I'll be down an SSD yeah I'll have to get that add-on card that kind of sucks so I think what I might do is maybe look at a different motherboard later down the road and uh, hopefully get one that doesn't switch off those uh, ports um, but you know what I'll work with what I got so everything's loaded there. Um, I wanted to actually fire up a game and see how it plays. This played pretty good. Let's see how this does. I haven't been on in a while. I haven't been on in almost 10 days. Yeah, audio's working. The computer didn't have much of a conniption um, firing up. It didn't, uh, yeah, it was perfectly fine. You know that first test run when you when you do a, mo a motherboard swap and you're reusing your operating system, sometimes uh, Peter will have a little bit of a heart attack. 
in this case, I actually did pretty good. Let's just try. Yeah, this is played really good on the old setup. Now this game was crashing once in a while. I don't know if it was a computer or if it was just the uh, um, game. Oh, that's right. I was. Uh, Let's go. I was in the middle of something. Yeah, this is completely unchanged. And it's just done. This should be all on ultra. Graphics. Um, window. I want full screen. Yes. Resolution. Oh. I had it on X4 because I wanted this TXA on. Pretty good, no hiccups. You get it played really well. Shut up. Played really well in the old setup. Oh man, everything's loaded in this game. It's playing way better. It's probably locked at 60 frames a second. Oh. takes a little bit to, never mind. It's done. I've been copying, uh, or did my best to make Todd's Bronco. <laughs> Oh, 
So still at least three wheel drive. <laughs> oh man, we bet that axle, huh? That's playing pretty good. How about a? Uh, there's another map on here that is pretty intensive. Um, when I, with my old video card that I had, I had a 7870 or was it 20? Yeah, 7870. It struggled with this map. Now I got a 980 GTX. Oh, plays so good on this map. You load up another uh, rig and it's just dead, dead. Did, did, you know. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how she runs now. Eventually, I might actually get an even bigger video card for this thing. Well, you know, if we have to cut out some of the hard drive cage, well, let's do it. So I'll probably keep this case probably until I rebuild my computer again, which at this rate, this thing will probably last me 10 years. Or eight years, like it, the last setup did. Oh yeah, this map, no problem. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do is uh, mess around here and uh, I'll update you if I have to, but otherwise I'm going to edit up this computer video and, uh, well, i got to get everything else set up and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, video, probably in a computer update.